so what is log we will discuss the basic definition of log and what are the basic applications of log so for the basic understanding of logarithm we must be aware of the simple thing which are which are called exponents which we've been discussing since our ninth standard so first we'll understand what is the need of the logarithm let's see we know that in exponents 10 to the power 1 this is very simple this is equal to 10 10 to the power 2 is equal to 100 similarly 10 to the power 3 is equal to 1000 and you can complete this table by yourself but what if I ask you what power of 10 gives us 4000 or let's say 40,000 so can you tell me what power of x will give you 40,000 you cannot determine the actual value of x but you know one thing since 40,000 lies between these two numbers right so 40,000 lies between 10,000 and 1 lakh so the exponent of x the exponent of 10 or the value of x will lie between x is equal to 4 to x is equal to 5 now I know this thing for sure that the value of x will lie between 4 and 5 right and we can say that the value of x is equal to 4 plus some fractional value so this value will be 4 plus some fraction now this integral part is known as the characteristic and this part is called the mentisor right so what what have we learned till now that if I want some random or unusual or some weird value of power of 10 let's say 10 to the power x is equal to 40,000 or 10 to the power x is equal to 300 I don't know the exact value of x how can this be determined with the help of logarithm so in the layman language in the layman's language we can say that logarithm is nothing but the exponent so that is a layman's language but in the case of mathematical definition or in the mathematical point of view what is the definition we'll discuss right now so this must be pretty much clear that it is held it is used to find out the unusual powers of any number let's say I'm using 10 over here but this can be any number right now if you remember from exponents we used to write a to the power m here a was the base and how many times this a is getting multiplied was known as the exponent so these two terms must be pretty much clear to you that what is base and what is the exponent so the number which is getting multiplied is called the base and the number of times it's getting multiplied is called the exponent so that's the basic difference between base and exponent so in mathematical language we can say that if base to the power exponent I'm representing this base by B and exponent by E if base to the power exponent is our given number we can say that E is equal to log n to the base B so this is the basic definition of log that if any base to the power exponent is equal to our given number this exponent will be equal to log n to the base b so that's the basic definition and in the layman's language you can say that this is just nothing but the exponent right or we can say that this is an unusual exponent which we need to find out which cannot be found by a simply generally logically or just by analyzing that what is the power what cannot be like 2 to the power x is equal to 64 2 to the power x is equal to 64 you know that the value of x can be easily determined like this can be written as 2 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power 6 so the value of x is equal to 6 so this is a very usual power this can be easily de determined log logically or by mathematically but when we need to see some weird powers like this was 60 we know that this value of x lies between 5 and 6 so 5 will be the characteristic and I'll have some mantissa which will be the fraction part so it can be 5.2 something 5.3 something so that we find out using log tables log tables and anti-log tables that's not uh, pretty much relevant here 
what we need to study here is what are the basic properties and what are the basic equations of logs what are the basic important results